when I think of Cocoon, then I think of the challenge of bringing together uh, science and people from practice. I think of a very complicated process of trying to work together. You know, it's an assumption that we work on the same goal. We, yes, we work on the same goal, on the same project, but we look differently. Cocoon in itself became a driver to informing government. And then also really with a focus on changing things, not on writing things down. And I also believe that it does not necessarily compromise scientific quality. We want things to be useful. Uh, if we have information, researches, we want some action taken in the next six months. NGOs need patience to wait for information. NGOs have a very different agenda and a different timeline than academics. As an academic, you have to publish. And so you think, OK, my publication for next year or so. Whereas NGOs, they say, OK, no, we have to solve it now. We have to, get, <laughs> we have to act now. Yes, I think I've been in a couple of meetings where uh, we have had situations where people and an academic will say that I am not going to take any other information from uh, the NGO because that NG most of the time the NGO information is a panic uh, information. Theoretically, the knowledge produced by science uh, can be used in a different or manipulated way by uh, NGOs. And even when the scientist uh, subscribes uh, the uh, goal of the uh, NGO, um, he may not uh, like the way the material is being used. Academics want different products than NGOs. So it's really important to realize this from the start. I think it's frustrating how much uh, importance is sometimes attached to this, this uh, publication drive if it doesn't lead to any follow-up. Scientists have to share their data more than they used to, because now you're working in a team with NGOs. I believe that uh, the NGO also have to change, much as the academia too have to change. Um, we would all have to meet ourselves midway. It started as a challenge, but it was, of course, uh, exciting when it started to work. And because of the collaboration between academics and NGOs, we actually were able to make a difference. Yeah, I think we should stop talking about researchers and practitioners, you know. I think we should all be the same. And I think often this mix between being a practitioner and being a reflective uh, person makes a, is a recipe for success. In a potential next round of research, you would, you would even try to be more bottom-up, start with a question that is really relevant at the local level and not start from a sort of theoretical paradigm that you need to test. Yeah, so you should not sit in your cocoon, you should go out and, you know, show your colors, your true colors. Mm -hmm.